Imagine choosing your own working hours. You start in the afternoon, because like me, you hate getting up in the mornings. Or you want to work throughout the summer, because in March, you're going to hike through New Zealand. But you can't, because the roster of your organization, whether it's a hospital or a school or a factory, everybody needs to work at the same time, nine to five or shift works or whatever. The roster is decided top down. The roster is fixed. And the problem is that this becomes a suboptimal solution for everybody who works there. Everybody has their second or third or fourth choice. Nobody is really happy, but the organization is happy. Now imagine a completely different world where you decide when you want to work. And every unique person who works at that company decides when they want to work. People who love getting up early in the morning start early. People who want to work in the evenings work in the evenings, etc., etc. Then the solution becomes optimal for all the people who work there. But the great fear is that this flexible bottom-up solution is going to be terrible for the organization. There's going to be chaos and then we're going to run out of nurses and we're going to be short of doctors and there won't be any teachers because everybody will be on holiday at the same time. Now, I see this fear of letting go in a lot of organizations I work with. I tell them that there is a more optimal solutions for the people who work there. But the people in charge say, we can't do this because it will be chaotic. Now, there is a solution where you can match the kind of flexibility that the employees want with the outcome that the organization wants. And that solution has to do with exchange and currency. People could trade. If people who work in the morning could trade with the people who work in the evening, people who want to work in the summer could trade with people who want to work in the winter, then you could still have a completely fixed roster. And one of the ways to make that work is to just invent a kind of currency. For example, if the company needs people to work in the summer, then you just make working in the summer more interesting. You pay people more. Or you, for each day they work in the summer, you give them two holidays in the winter. Or if you need people, if you don't have enough people who work early in the morning, then you give them a higher hourly wage if they work in the morning. If you don't have enough people who work in the evening, etc., etc. So you make an exchange system that people could trade days or could trade times amongst themselves. And then you would get a completely flexible system. I would want to work less hours this year because I want to take some more time off, or I have a sick parent to care for, or I have young children. And the next year, I want to work a bit more and I'll make a bit more money or I'll make more money because I work on different times. So a currency system is specifically that. A currency system makes it so that we don't all have to buy the same shoes and the same shirts. You want to spend more on shoes? Be my guest. You want to spend less on shirts? Then don't spend any money on shirts. It's a completely optimal system where you make the choices that matter to you. And because of the currency, these unique choices aggregate, they come together to a system that works for the whole. So if you want to make your organization flexible, think of introducing an exchange or a currency system. And that will help you combining these two paradigms and you have an optimal solution for this organization and you'll have an optimal solution for the people who work there. It's a challenge.